I'm Adora Yadoji. Of course, we're always on at The Takeaway. This is Catherine Lanfer, and we're sitting down hey. after the show because, of course, even though we spent four hours live on the radio, we have much more to say. Well, first of all, look at the fact that we lost between 60 to 70,000 jobs around the globe. That was announced yesterday. In fact, the job cuts were piling up even as we were talking today, Adora. And we were talking to Jim Ellis, who's oh, right. one of the editors at Business Week magazine. And, and he, he gave us great the, line. I was going to say, he gave us the best image of the day. He was trying to sort of rephrase something that Warren Buffett had said that, you know, once we hit all that market turbulence, the waters came down and you could see who exactly had been swimming naked. And they realized there were a lot of people who were swimming naked. And he wasn't so optimistic about the rest of 2009, although he did express... Yeah, what you call him, Mr. Express, Mr. Good Time? Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Good Time. We're going to turn to him regularly. I was struck by the detainees at the Bagram oh, Air right, Base right. in Afghanistan in custody. The story in that US no one's custody, been covering. 600 right. of them. And many of them, um, it's not clear exactly what they're accused of. They haven't had any legal representation. And in fact, the Obama administration has now been ordered by a federal judge to, by the middle of February, right. explain exactly what their policy is what they're considering these detainees or prisoners or however you describe that and and what le legal um, remedies they're going to have access to or not. Will they get a lawyer? Okay. Will and they I be was, able to challenge being detained? And I was interested in the political ramifications because what, what does it say to your supporters? Hey, I closed Guantanamo, oh, right. but by the way, uh, Afghanistan's still open. And then there's a digital TV. Oh. Holy moly! Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be reading a book. No, really, you've got to check this one out. Um, you know, it's, they make it sound on TV like it's just the clapper, right? You go like this right. and you convert One, two, three, Shazam, to there digital. you go. Yeah, Shazam, that's it's your favorite I word. I like Shazam. And I'm sure some of you have actually seen these television commercials where they say, go buy the converter box and you bring it into your home and, and voila, you're going to have television. But no, that's not the case that we learned today at no, all. No, no. I mean, first of all, you have to get your hands on the converter. It may or may not work with your television set. Then, if you... If if you don't have cable, you have to go up, you have to check your converter. And, and then you have to check it, your antenna. antenna. I'm sorry. You have to, you have check, to check your check antenna. check your antenna. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, like, I'm going to be up on a roof and anytime soon. And then you might not have a, an antenna that is compatible with the converter. So then you're going to have to go buy a new antenna. So anyhow, for those of you who don't have cable or don't have satellite television, I would advise you buy a to book. get online or to call some of the help numbers on how you convert your television come June because you're not going to get any more signal. You're not going to be able to watch your favorite television shows. There's not going to be any more 30 Rock or 60 Minutes or hey, any of that stuff. But there'll still be the takeaway. There'll still be the takeaway. And I think I think that's enough for today. Don't yeah, you? I do too. All right. Well, thank you, Catherine. You're more welcome. All right. All right. We're always on here at the takeaway.